it's uh, awesome and Torridon today. Um, I'm doing this um, loop, I think it's called the, um, I think we just call it the Torridon loop. Um, I found it on Trail 4, so we'll see what it's like. Um, this is the A896 or something, so I've parked on this road and I've just done a, a few kilometres along to where I'm going to turn off now um, and go into Torridon. The weather's not too bad today, it's a bit windy and a bit drizzly, but I think it'll be alright. It's much better than yesterday. Yesterday was horrendous, so I just hid yesterday. Um, there was two real big loops on trail forks and um, this and uh, the Torridon lollipop. So we do part of the lollipop, but this has got a little bit more road work in it, but it's a longer loop. So it's probably from the Torridon Hotel, it's probably about eight miles to here. But I've parked somewhere in the middle, so I've split that in two. So I've got like a four mile road ride when I finish, when I come off the hill. Um, so we'll see how we get on today. Um, hopefully it'll be quite a nice loop, because when you look at a map, you don't know whether um, a path is, like whether it's rideable, whether it's just bog, or whether it's a hardcore track, who knows. That's us at the end of the lock. Let me through. Come on! Bit of a technical um, single track, but mainly climbing. Um, some real little challenges there on this section. And some pretty abysmal fails by me. See, this is another fail, is it? Check. Uh, fail span out. Just uh, I'll have to probably at the high point of um, well, this I can't remember what pass is called. Um, something called like Curry Lay, something of a. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Door, Cloud, Curry Lay. So we're going to start, and I think this is mainly a descent from here on back down to a bit of tarmac and then the second part of the route um well I'll leave the camera on or we'll go down here and see if there's anything worth uh, worth riding so far it's been a, a technical a technical climb mainly um a technical push in my case some of it if you're really good at technical climbs you'll love that There's not going to be much of a video in this though, is it really? I'm not doing very well off these water bars. I'm surprised I've got a pinch flat yet. I suppose it's a bit like, you know, I wouldn't go up well then and ride Berkside in horrible wet weather. I suppose it's a bit like this, that's really all rocky. Stuff like that. You really want traction to be on your side. Part of mountain biking, they're doing it in the, the shit weather.
Oh shit! You know what I was talking about, pinch flats. Oh, that's one there. Right, that's a pinch flat repaired. How quick was that? Instantaneous. I'm gonna have to be a bit careful now because uh, I've only I've got I meant to bring two tubes with me, but I used one of them because I had a flat front um, and um, I had a phone in it, so I changed it and then uh, so I only had I've only got the one tube which I've just put in. So I've got my punch repair kit with me, but that one there was the way that went. It's be a big rip in it, so I wouldn't have thought you could pack. Get through that horrible noise. Just take my time over those water bars. Oh fucking hell. That was pretty poor, that's poor. Poor, poor, poor show. Poor show. Too much break, I just let it go a little bit. Well, that's the first descent, nearly done. Just down this forestry road onto the tarmac road, and then we've got a little bit on the tarmac. I mean, it was really nice, gradual climb up there, and a nice technical descent. I mean, it was wet today, and I assumed it would be slippery, but actually that rock wasn't too bad. I would still much rather, I felt more confident doing it in the, um, in the, uh, in the dry, because, um, you just die, aren't you? I mean, it's um, my perception of slippy wet rock is, is um, you're going to fall off. You try and touch your brakes on stuff like that. But actually, it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. I still wouldn't would prefer to do it in the dry because I'd have felt more confident riding it. And a few kilom, just had a few kilometres on the road. Now we're back onto this fire road, taking us up to the last. Uh, the last coal, I would imagine, before the descent. Hopefully it's not too bad. It's quite watery, so I'm hoping there's not any big river crossings on it, because uh, I think I'll still today. It's been a nice route though so far, other than the road bit, but you know, it's a necessary evil, isn't it? When you're doing a big loop like this, that you're going to have some road transfers on it. I mean, certainly, uh, scenery-wise, it's been lovely. I almost didn't get make that one. Because I've been using... On well, the past, I've got this Garmin, it's a really old one. A 62S, one of the original ones, with mapping in it. And it's really clunky to put roots in using the Garmin app. So, I've also got the Ordnance Survey subscription, which costs about 20 odd quid a year or something. Which is really good for downloading bits of maps and, and the idea is, you just download the bits you need. But, I think two mistakes I made with it. One is, I was obviously a bit tight with the ink and didn't want to give myself big enough margins around the edges in between where the paths cross over. And the other thing I did was is I plotted the route using the OS app on it. And I believe, well, it actually, it hides the detail of the track or where you are. It's too, it's too thick, the red. There's a big red line on it. Make no mistake where you're going, but you lose that detail of whether you're on a road, a track, a path, you just can't see, which is a shame really. So I think in future, um, I'll have to find a way of importing the GPX file onto my Garmin 
Um, so I just tried dragging it and dropping it in and it didn't work. It said there were far too many points to use it. Apparently this garment only takes for a route anyway, 50 points. I didn't know that, but I assumed I would be able to see the GPX files as tracks, but maybe I didn't put it in the right folder on the device. I'm not sure, but I can't see them anyway. So I've not got the root on my Garmin, which is a bit of a shame really, because when you've got the root on the Garmin, you don't even need the map. You just follow that most of the time. But as this is practice for my level three life, leadership award using the map is a good idea so actually it's not a bad thing really but as I say I think the moral of the story is is to buy the the paper laminated map for the area that you're riding in because to be honest with you if this gets soaked through I'm gonna think I'm all right now because I know roughly the rest of the route and I could use my Garmin or my water from my phone to navigate the end part but uh, the moral of the story is, is this is by a, a laminated map of the area. I'll have to show the outside of this buffy first before, um, before I leave because uh, I didn't put the camera on when I arrived. Some lazy bastards left in the rubbish. Can't be asked to take it home with them. It's even got an upstairs this place. Explore. Wow. Right, battery changed. I've just had my lunch in here. It's pleasant, that's not pleasant enough. Better than being outside. You can see all the midges on the windows here, all the dead midges. Hundreds of them. God, it must be ridiculous up here in midge, midge season. You can provide a spade for doing your poos. Got your number twos, I should say. It's closed. Back on the bike. Pretty well maintained um, buffy though. <laughs> Wet front break again. I spoiled my video that night. You know, we put resin pads in. Only problem is it only lasts five seconds and uh, I don't work very well when it's wet. Oh Jesus Christ! That was a deep one. So this here is where we've just joined the other path. Now I think the torrid and lollipop comes along here and back around this way. I wouldn't swear to that, but I think that's uh, I think that's where that goes. So we're almost at the top of this coal here. Um, so I could probably ride on this. this bit. Um, but a uh, bit of a slog up here really, none of it, none of it really, or very little of it I would say was rideable, it was nearly all push, but not not quite hiker bike, on a on a, on a push level it was probably about as, some of it was a, as uh, you would want to push much harder, I was tempted to pick the bike and put it on my shoulders a couple of times but I didn't need to. I mean, it would be quite a good route up on that little bit there for an e-bike so far, I would have said. I and mean, if you had walk assist, that wouldn't have been too much of a problem because as I said, I pushed it, I pushed it the whole way. A bit of manhandling, but I still pushed it the whole way. So, um, I would say, certainly durable on an e-bike. Right, hopefully it should be generally downhill from here, but I don't think there might be a few little bits of up.
I'm grinding away. Probably not doing my pads much good. This is where you have a laugh and watch me get wet. Only 
I would say a bike was useful for crossing a river but today I would say not it's a positive liability Same about putting your wheel bearings and not rocking my bike because I've not done it which is good. Yeah, we're really easy down here. I don't want another pinch black because I've got a probably a, a four or five mile walk when I get back to the road or the road ride. And I don't I don't want to end up walking it. If I get another flat. Maybe those rocks aren't as good as I thought they were. I should have worn my hot body armour today, after all. Put a pedal on that truck, so. No harm done, though. that's good. I'm not to me anyway. Chunky, 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 chunky. Come on, Richard. Stop riding like a fucking pussy.
I don't know. Pads in my front, this must be fucked. I'll check them when I get home. To the hotel. I've got some spares, so. Oh, piston seized or something, huh? Noise they're making. <laughs> Definitely the big bike for this stuff, though. Oh, mind you, this isn't a bad bike, it's just. It just needs a little bit of more maintenance work. Need this suspension service in the hang on it. That's us back on the road in one piece. Just about. Sort of in one piece anyway. <laughs> 